the internal rotation resistance strength test is used to test for primary impingement or internal impingement of the shoulder. The starting position for the test is 90 degrees of shoulder abduction, 90 degrees of elbow flexion and around 80 degrees of external rotation. With the patient's arm supported beneath the elbow, use the other hand to apply resistance. External rotation strength can be tested by instructing the patient to maintain this position while you apply an anterior force from behind the forearm. Internal rotation strength can be tested by instructing the patient to maintain this position while you apply a posterior force through the forearm. Comparatively, internal rotation weakness may indicate an internal impingement of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus tendons between the posterior superior part of the glenoid rim. External rotation weakness may indicate a primary impingement type pathology, but it is typical for internal rotation to be the stronger of the two movements.